Welcome to a new advanced Blender tutorial series, this one, this time on uh, quick modeling. Now we're going to be making quite a few different models in this tutorial series, however we're going to start off with an entertainment center real quick. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to go ahead and select these and delete these out of my scene real quick. To do that I just hold, hold, contr hold control and left click to circle those. Okay, now I want this, I only want this to be one Blender unit across, so I'm going to scale it by 0.5, enter. And then let's jump into uh, edit mode, so hit tab on your keyboard. And then uh, we want to be down in faces mode here, so right click this top face here. Now I want my shelves to be one blender unit um, thick, that's why I did that. However, I want five blender units of space between my um, shelves. So if you hit E, that'll extrude it. It's already heading up straight up from straight out from that face which is right along the z-axis so that's fine hit 5 on your keyboard to lock it to 5 blender units press enter and now we want another shelf there in the middle so I want to E1 enter and now I want a uh, second shelf space on the top there's going to be a middle shelf for the bottom of my entertainment center so E5 enter and then <clears throat> E1 enter again this will be the shelf that uh, holds my TV there however I also want three shelves here on the side of my entertainment center so I'm gonna keep doing this E5 E1 thing all the way up on four more times okay E5 enter E1 enter E5 enter there's my first shelf E1 enter here's my second shelf E5 enter E1, enter, E5, enter, E1, enter. Okay, now let's count and make sure we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's perfect. So A to D select everything. Uh, now I want to make sure I'm um, pulling out from the left side here because this is going to be the back right corner of my entertainment center here. So I want to press one on my number pad to get to the front view so I know I'm coming, pulling out from the left side. Select all of these faces here. Just hold shift to select all the multiples. Okay. Now I want uh, the side shelves to be five blender units across too. So I'm going to E5. It should automatically bring me right out on the X axis here, which is perfect. And then enter. And then I want to make another uh, wall here separating that from where my TV goes so E1 enter and now I want the center of my entertainment center to be 25 blender units across so E25 enter Oop. E25 enter and now I want to match this to the same as the other side so E1 enter E5 enter E1 enter now we've got all these nice vertices and uh, edges that we can work with so that is absolutely perfect this will uh, be the basic shape for our entertainment center um, and all of our vertices are exactly where we want them to be so A to deselect everything now we want to go ahead and make it thick this is the back of our entertainment center that we want to give it a bit of width so we want to go out go ahead and select all of these around the outside of course Now, I already know what my model is going to look like. I have an idea of what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, I want to have a front edge here, but I don't. These uh, middle shelves here on the side, oops, that's the wrong one. These middle shelves here on the side right there are only going to be five blender units out. However, these bottom shelves, these shelves here are going to be. 10 blender units out which is matches the width that I'm adding for all of this stuff so I can go ahead and select those edges right now as well and E10 enter okay now I want to unselect these because I don't want those shelves matching this lip that I'm gonna have here in front to give my uh, 
put on a little bit of style once I'm done with the basic part of my model here. So E1, enter. Okay. Now I can go ahead and pull out these back shelves here. E5, enter. Okay. A to D, select everything, and now you see we've got a decent starting shape for our model here. <coughs> okay. Now I want to select all these top ones. We want a nice little, we want a little bit of style here. So we're going to go ahead and raise these up by E4, enter. We'll come back and do something different with those in a bit. But I also want a style lip here on the inside, so I'm going to select these three and just pull these down one blender unit. So E1, enter. Okay. A to D select. Okay, now the first thing we want to do here is start going ahead and adding our style. Okay, and this is what the style is going to look like. We're just going to do something simple. Select all of those. We want to scale these in along this x-axis by 0.5. So S on your keyboard, X to go along the x-axis, and 0.5. Enter. Now you see we have that little bit of style there. Go ahead and select all these and do the same thing to these ones. S, X, point, 0.5, enter. S, X, point, 0.5, enter. S, X, point, 0.5, enter. Okay. Now I can actually do the same thing down here to this, just these ones here. Okay. S X point five enter. 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 Okay. So now, um, we have to do something a little different here with these ones, okay? First thing we're going to do is go ahead and take care of these side shelves, okay, these little ones. Now we actually just want to scale them by 0.5 from a edge, so all I'm going to do is subdivide them, so hit W and then S to subdivide them, leave it one cut, and that's fine. Now come down here to edge mode. Select one of these middle edges and select the second little middle edge. A D select. Make sure you just get these two little edges. And I want to scale them along the Z axis, so S Z point five. Enter. And do the same thing to all four of those. S Z point five enter. S Z point five enter. S Z point five enter. Okay. Now we need to do something a little different for these ones. Okay. We actually want a special edge sticking out so it looks about the same width there. So A to D select everything. If you have loop tools um, activated in your add-on, you can hit Control R. And I want to scale this up to six cuts. Okay. Left click to set them there. Make sure they're cut across the top there where we want them. Good. We're looking nice. All right. Now, A to D select those. Go back into faces mode. And we want to set select these center faces here. Not that one. Okay. We want to scale these along the Z axis. So SZ.5. Enter. And then we want to do the same thing with this, right? Quick. S Z point five enter. Okay. A to D select. Now <clears throat> that's a decent uh, start for a little model there. Let's go ahead and do what we're going to do here on the top. Okay. Go ahead and select these two uh, faces here. Now we scaled them up by four. Uh, 
we move them up by four, so we want to go ahead and uh, pull them down by actually you know what that whole I only wanted this up by three not four okay so take the whole thing G to move when I go along the z-axis and I want to make it negative one real quick oh, I did point one so delete, hit negative one, enter. Okay, now I just want these outside faces real quick. Okay, now I'm going to pull these down. G, Z, negative two, enter. Okay, that looks good. Now I want to take these top ones here and pull them in, scale them along the Y axis here. Same like we did with the other lips. So, S, Y, 0.5, enter. Control Z. I want to do that to all of these, actually. S, Y, 0.5, enter. Okay, that looks good. All right. Now what we're going to do here on the inside, go into... Uh, Go into your edge mode, select this edge here, and this edge here, and we're going to move them up back up flush with the top. So, G, Y, 1, excuse me, I went backwards, I want to go G, Z, 1, enter. Okay, now you can select, come back to face mode and select these middle ones real quick. And we want to scale them along the Y axis, so S, Y, 0.5, enter. A, D, select. Okay, now we want to do something a little different up here too. We want to uh, go ahead and subdivide this, so select these two faces out here. W, S, subdivide this by three times. Okay, then we want to go ahead and select, uh, come to edge mode. Select all these, just these outside edges here. And we want to move those up along the z-axis by 1 as well. So G, Z, 1, enter. Okay, then come back to faces mode and select all of these. And we want to S, Y, 0.5, enter. And do the same thing over here. S, Y, 0.5, enter. Okay, and that's it. That is our basic model for a television, or television entertainment center. Press A to unselect, tab to get back into object mode, A to deselect, right click it. We want to uh, come up to our materials tab right here, go under textures. We want to add a quick uh, picture. I'm going to select both, make sure it works right for cubes, and I'm going to open a uh, texture here that I have called cherry wood okay now I'm out of time for this video so I'll show you the render real quick right when we come back and start on our next model alright but that's good it'll be ready I'll see you all again soon.
I had a couple seconds left, so this is the uh, rendered image of the entertainment center.